the morning at six o'clock. Hello, welcome along to Daybreak on Monday the 24th. Thanks, Steve. Well, after highs of 20 degrees yesterday, the weather flips again today. Strong gusty winds, heavy significant rain through the south and the west. I've got all the details in just a little while. I'm sorry, Dan, I've got to agree this time with the front of the express. Yes, there's going to be a month worth of rain in just 24 hours, maybe less than 24 hours through parts of the southwest. Strong gusty winds to boot. It's all changed. I've got the full forecast for you now. Well, after highs of 20 degrees across some parts of the south yesterday, it's all changed today. Strong gusty winds, significantly heavy, persistent rain plaguing much of the west. Already this morning, the rain extending through the west country, Wales, into western fringes of Scotland. Otherwise, a drier start and with the cloud cover, a milder start as well. Uh, we're going to see the heaviest rain through the likes of western Devon, parts of Cornwall and Pembrokeshire. These zones could see up to 80 millimetres of rain in just around about 12 hours. Around 100 millimetres of rain in a very short space of time. That's nearly four inches of water falling on the ground. And in these zones, we could see a risk of localised flooding. The rivers could top a uh, bank full stage to burst their banks. And with all the debris and the leaves um, from the autumn trees, uh, lots of surface water and spray on the roads with block drains and that sort of thing. So we're going to see a very wet conditions through the southwest today. Strong gusty winds for all of us. Either side of this rain band, drier conditions, brighter skies, some lovely spells of sunshine, particularly across central and eastern spots, I think. The best of the brighter skies likely through the south east and east Anglia. Uh, through the west it stays wet throughout the day, the rain moving its way back into parts of Northern Ireland and it will be a very, very wet day across the southwest, as I mentioned. Uh, the strong gusty winds will mean uh, really miserable conditions but with a southerly air stream from the near continent staying remarkably mild 16 degrees around the high in the north, around 18 degrees in the south. The rain will continue to be an issue for the journey home from work but overnight the winds will tend to ease. Thanks, Steve. It's all changed as we head into half-term week. Strong, gusty winds and outbreaks of rain into the west. In fact, some parts of the southwest could get a month's worth of rain in less than half a day. Uh, the full forecast in the next half hour. Yes, yeah, sort of pinky tones in the sky this morning. Red sky in the morning, what does that mean? Shepherd's warning. Yes, not looking good at all today. Strong, gusty winds for all of us as we roll into a new week, into half term as well. Very gusty winds for the west initially. Uh, here, touching gale force for a time today. And to accompany the strong winds, well, plenty of rain for the west initially. The focus of this heavy, persistent rain through the southwest, through the likes of Pembrokeshire and Cornwall, torrential bursts of rain for a time could lead to a risk of local flooding and some disruption to transport today, so we'll be keeping an eye on that. Either side of this system, plenty of cloud, staying mostly dry and the cloud keeping temperatures up this morning, so it is mild to start the new day. But really, that heavy, persistent rain will be a feature through the west all day, particularly through Cornwall, uh, parts of Devon, into the southwest of Wales. And here, lots of surface water and spray on the roads, giving some dreadful conditions if you're having to travel. Uh, plenty of cloud elsewhere, but there will be brighter breaks emerging through central and eastern spots, uh, particularly across East Anglia, I think. Some lovely sunshine here. And then through the course of the afternoon, that rain making some headway back into Northern Ireland and maybe across to the likes of Dorset and Hampshire. Otherwise, brighter, better conditions, but strong, gusty winds for all of us. The winds from a southerly direction, so staying remarkably mild, to the time of year, 15 degrees in the north, 18 degrees in the south, staying cloudy to end the day, the rain persisting in the west, uh, but at least it's staying mild and the winds will slacken overnight.